Okay, today we are working on lesson 9.5, which is on page 375 of your big book. Our essential question for the day is, how can you translate between equations and graphs? The solution of an equation in two variables is an ordered pair that makes the equation true. For example, this ordered pair, 2, 5, is a solution of the equation y equals x plus 3 because when y equals 5 and x equals 2, this equation is true because 2 plus 3 is 5. A linear equation is an equation whose solutions, notice that's a plural, that means there's more than one, it has many solutions, form a straight line on the coordinate plane. Any point on that line is a solution to the equation. So when, um, when you're done uh, solving the equation and finding some solutions and you graph them, you're going to find that they're going to make a line, a straight line on the graph. All right, let's go to the first question here. We have a blue whale is swimming at an average rate of three miles per hour. Write a linear equation that gives the distance in y in miles that the whale swims in x hours. So again, this is our dependent variable. Um, how far the whale is gonna swim depends on how many hours it swims. Then graph the relationship. All right write and graph a linear equation. So we're gonna write an equation for the relationship. Distance, they already told us that. Distance up here is y. All right, y equals, what is our rate? That would be um, how fast that whale is swimming. And if you look up here, they gave us that information too. It's three miles per hour. So we're gonna write a three there, multiplied by time. And again, they gave us that also in the story problem, x. We don't know how long that whale is gonna be able to swim. So we don't know how far it's going to get, at least not yet. Okay, find ordered pairs that are solutions of the equation. So we're gonna fill out this uh, table here. Choose several values for x and find the corresponding values of y. Notice that they're using relatively simple, small numbers. You can put any number in here for x. You could put 100 in if you felt like it, but that makes the work more difficult later on. So typically you're gonna choose smaller numbers and make your life easier. Okay, so our x values are one, two, three, and four. Our um, equation that we created up here is written nicely right here. In fact, I'm gonna rewrite it right here. Y equals three uh, x. So if the whale only swims one hour, then three times one, because it can swim as fast as three miles per hour, the ordered pair is one, three, because it only went three miles. It only swam for an hour, so it only got three miles. However, if that same whale swims two hours, three times two equals six. So our ordered pair would be two, six, because the whale swam uh, twice as long, it went twice as far. All right, if the whale swims for three hours th at a rate of three miles per hour, three times three gives us nine. So our ordered pair is three for the X value, nine for the Y value. Okay, now we have um, the whale swimming for four hours if it can maintain that pace for four hours at three miles per hour, it will swim 12 miles. 
So our ordered pair is 4 for the x, 12 for the y. All right, now step three, we're going to graph the relationship. This is the fun part. Graph the ordered pairs, draw a line through the points to show all the solutions of the linear equation. All right, so at one, okay, so notice their intervals. First of all, their x value down here, this is their y, this is the x right there, there's the y. Their count bys or intervals are one, one, two, three, four, five, just the counting numbers. Over here for our distance, they went ahead and did intervals of two. So their count bys are two, two, four, six, eight, ten. So with our first example where our ordered pair is one, three, we have to know that three comes between two and four. And so we put our little dot right there where the one and the three intersect or meet. Okay, so now we have two, six. Mm -hmm. So two is our x value. We always start with our x value. Go up to six right there and put another dot. That's where the two and the six intersect is right there. All right, this time we're going to have to, we've got an odd number and since we're count, we're, the count bys over here are by twos, it's going to come between two numbers. Nine comes between eight and 10. This is where the nine would be. Okay. All right, so three is our x value. Then we go up to nine and put a dot right there. I'm gonna go ahead and erase that little bit that's hanging over. All right, so this is the um, ordered pair three, nine. All right, let's go on up to four, 12. So we're starting at four, go up to 12 right there and put a dot. All right, then it says, so we graph the ordered pairs. We did the first part, this is done now. Now it says draw a line through the points to show all the solutions of the linear equation. So in order to make it accurate, it's really great if you have some kind of a straight edge. You can use a ruler or just a piece of paper. I'm using my little graph paper here. All right, making sure this is nice and straight. I'm still not quite there, but I'm getting there. Okay, and draw the line. Okay. So if we went on, let's say we went up to seven or eight, we can find the solution for how many miles using our graph now because we've got this line and it's nice and straight. Okay, let's take a look at the next page. Example, the graph shows the number of beaded necklaces, y, so this is our dependent variable, that Ginger can make in x hours depending on how long she can work. Write the linear equation for the relationship shown by the graph. Step one, use ordered pairs from the graph to complete the table of values below. Step two, look for a pattern in the table. All right, so this time they gave us the ordered pairs and the graph and now we need to fill this out, the table out. So we have zero, zero, the origin. And when x equals one, which is right here, y equals two. So we can put a two there. When x equals three, which is right here, go all the way up, y equals six. And finally, when x equals four, y equals eight. 
So here we have 2 times 0 gives us 0. 2 times 1 gave us 2. 2 times 3 gave us 6. 2 times 4 gave us 8. Think, each y value is 2 times the corresponding x value. We got that from here, 2, 2, 2, 2. So the linear equation for the relationship is y equals 2 times x, or 2x. OK, um, explain how to graph a linear equation. OK, first we find and graph the ordered pairs. These are the ordered pairs. Then we draw a line through the points, or let's see, let's spell that correctly, ordered pairs. All right, compare representations. Describe a situation in which there would be more uh, in which it would be more useful to represent a relationship with an equation than with a graph. So an equation can be used to find the value of the dependent variable for any value of the independent var variable, including values that might be difficult to read from a graph. So, um, so there are times when, how do I say this, uh, with kids speak, there are times when it's, um, it's, an equation helps you find the dependent variable easier, okay? So equations can help find the value of the, I'm not on the screen, dependent variable um, faster than making a graph. So if I went back to this example up here, sometimes it's faster to use an equation than a graph. So let's say, uh, so my relation, my equation here is y equals 2x. If x was, oh, let's say um, 20, that would be an, an awfully big graph, wouldn't it? But right here I can do 2 times 20, and I know that y equals 40. Do you see how fast that is? So sometimes it's faster to use an equation than a graph to find the value of the dependent variable. All right, let's do our last two examples here. All right. So we have graph the linear equation y equals x minus 2. So for every x value, we're going to subtract 2. So uh, let's see. We need some space for working, don't we? All right. So when uh, y equals, um, when x equals 2 minus 2, then y equals 0. That's where that came from. We substituted in this 2 for x, 
did the operation and this came out zero. That's where that came from. Okay, let's do another one. Y equals, we're gonna substitute the four in for the X, four minus two and Y equals two because four minus two is two. So we're gonna put a two right there. All right, let's do this again. Y equals, now we have the value six. Six minus two, Y equals four. So when X equals six, Y equals four. Now well, let's do the last one. Y equals um, X minus two. We're gonna put the eight in for X. So that's eight minus two, Y equals six. Now let's go ahead and graph these ordered pairs. So our first one is two, zero, four, two, six, four, eight, six. Okay, we have two, zero. Doesn't get to go up at all. Let's take a look at our intervals. They're, they're actually count by ones because here's the space for the one. One, two, three, four. Even though they're not labeled, they left they left a space there. Same for the y axis. One, two, three, four, and so on. All right. Then we have four, two. So we start at four, go up to two, six, four. We start at six, go up to the four, eight, six. Start at the eight, go up to the six. All right, and now we use a straight edge to line it up. And draw our line. Perfect, all right. Now let's take a look at our notes. You can do this one. Make your own table and get that done. Here we go. Equations and graphs with linear equations. Here's, here's the note side, here's the example side. Create a t-chart. And this t-chart is where you're going to get your ordered pairs. So our first example was y equals x plus one. That's our um, equation. So when x equals one, y equals two. Here's the work over here. When x equals two, y equals three. Again, the work over here. When x equals three, y equals four. And there's our ordered pairs based on the t-chart that we created. We assigned the x values. We use small values for our x. Then we solved for the y values. That gave us these numbers over here. Then we write the ordered pairs. X is always first. X is always first. Now we graph the ordered pairs. There's one, two, two, three, and three, four. Remember that if the dots don't make a straight line, then check your work, because something's gone wrong. If you're graphing a linear equation, it makes a line. Notice um, the root of the word linear is line. It should make a line. If it doesn't make a line, it's no longer a linear equation. So it should make a nice straight line when you're done. All right, do your PMTs.